bubble, blubber, squirm, and gloop, boiling broth of bat's tail soup, wobble, slobber, liquid goo, add the sole of one old shoe, spooky shadows dance around of frogs and rats and snarling hounds, steam swirls rising to the roof, add one small ear and one old tooth, gnarly, scratchy, tickle and itch, stir round and round and make it rich, mushy, sticky, sizzle and stew, they're making mischief just for you. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. To my viewers, my subscribers, thank you guys so much. It means so much to me that you're able to take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. I love to hear about your Timu hauls as well. And yeah, I'm, I'm not quite ready for Halloween yet, but I am definitely, I'm definitely getting in the mood. How about you guys? So anyway, this is going to be a Timu haul. It's going to be my number 26, I believe, and it's going to be my Halloween edition number two. So I'm excited to get into this and show some of the things that I've got here and maybe some pitfalls so that if you happen to see this, you know what the quality is like, what to expect from it. And anyway, of course, your comments always, always welcome. And I hope you give my video a thumbs up. So anyway, let's get into the first one. Well, I didn't hold up the bag for this time. It's just a white bag. I got the white bag. And for Halloween, I probably should have dug out my orange bag because I think orange would look really nice for Halloween. But I did get the new white bag this time, so I'm excited to go with the change for that. So anyway, let's get into the few things that I've got here. Hopefully, I can kind of keep this one short. So this was 98 cents, and it's a little bat necklace. And it kind of looks like pewter, but I'm sure it's just some kind of metal alloy here. We've got like a leather, kind of plasticky chain right here in black. Um, not much of a chain right there, so I, I'm not sure if that's going to um, go down low enough or if I'm going to need to put a little extender on this to have it go down a little bit lower or get a different chain for it. But 98 cents, you really can't go wrong. And if you were um, for a child, I think this would really be a perfect size as well to accessorize the costume for only 98 cents. Alrighty, so last week I showed you that Sagittarius skull that's from High Test, the same ones, High, high Pock, like the same ones that Tivisi was doing. Love, love that, love the quality. So I got some other things in here. Not the same. It's by a different company. And yeah, it's a little bit different. So you do have to watch for that. So this one was $5.98. And this one didn't have the LED lights. And I didn't figure it out until later. And I thought I took it out of my cart, but obviously, I did not. So the quality is not the same, but you can see it's got a lot of the same detail like the high pock ones do. So we've got all this stacked kind of wood in here. We've got the haunted house. We've got the creepy tree. We got jack-o'-lanterns, ghost, a witch, and a bat in the moon. So again, this one doesn't have the LED lights, but they did put a hole on the back so that you can put your own in here. All right. So again, this was $5.98. Later, I found one that had the LED lights, and I'm thinking, oh, cool. Yeah, but it's kind of like the same thing, but it came with the LED lights for you to put in. So I took out my trusty glue gun and tried to glue some of that in without melting the wire. So we'll see what, what that looks like. I just kind of taped that to the back, but it will be out of the way if I have that hanging on the mantle. And then again, I don't have to worry about um, a plug. I know, isn't that great? So again, this one with the LED lights was $7.77, but 
and I say but it had a refund on this of three dollars and twenty two cents so my final cost was four dollars and fifty five cents now this also blinks and then it can go steady so watch your eyes everyone so this is what this one would look like if you leave it blinking and then this is like a slower blink maybe and then just to leave it on so anyway I'm happy with this one I've got I think I have three more coming and I think I got the ones with the light so we'll see if there are other ones by High Park or these ones and yeah so these ones to me they're they're okay I just have to get a little bit better with my glue gun so next is this candle that I got for two dollars and seventy eight cents and let's see if my light stays on so it's this orange flame right here the candlestick itself is purple and it's got some black bats on it it's held up by a skeleton hand and then the base are these skulls and then inside that purple is kind of glittery so it is cute but you do have to kind of really press it to kind of keep that light on otherwise the light will keep going off but for two dollars and 78 cents i thought it was kind of cute Alrighty, so next um i do not been getting these tins that i like to kind of switch out here's my one from last week right here they also have some ones that are canvas so i wanted to check them out see the quality of those ones it did come in this tube right here so that you if you you're done hanging it for the season you could kind of fold it roll, roll it back up put it in this tube this was two dollars and 98 cents and I also bought a frame to go with it and so the frame it's a black frame it's 12 by 18 and this was $13.16 I did see some of these on like Amazon and Target and they were a heck of a lot more money so anyway I, it's got the mat in here I'll try to do it without showing the ring light so it's got a mat right here to go around it I didn't tape it in or anything just because I just wasn't sure about the frame but anyway it's Let's see if I can do my trusty light thing again. All I have to do is find it. Okay, here it is. Warning, a witch lives here. Trespasses will be used as ingredients in the brew. Alrighty, so isn't that fun? So I know the canvas quality is really, really nice. Now, as you can see, I have got a crack that came in the frame. It's on both sides. But I know that it came like that from the factory. It wasn't in transit because, if, can you see it right there? And you can feel that they put some glue over it on the back and then painted it with a little bit of white. So you got that kind of mark of the glue and the paint. So I know they knew it was like that from the factory. Why they didn't do it all the way around, I don't know. But I'm thinking just with a black Sharpie marker, I can fix that. And then again, if I get some more of those, um, canvas things I can just kind of switch them out alrighty so next I got two more tins so this one is another cat one so it says Salem sanctuary for wayward cats ferals and familias welcome established 1692 and I just love the, the frame in here and the black cat and the roses so I just thought he was really cute uh, anyway, $4.48. This one had three refunds. So I got $0.77, cents, then $0.34, cents, and then $0.19 cents, uh, cash back. And so it was $1.30 off, $1 off the price. So my final on this was $3.18. And I don't think I'm past the 30 days yet, so who knows? There could be more. Next, we got this orange and black one with a jack-o'-lantern here. And this one also was $4.00. 48 cents and this one had two of the price reductions on it so one was a dollar six one was 23 cents so I got a dollar 29 off so my final price on this was three dollars and 18 cents and this one says okay so when black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam may luck be yours on Halloween I just thought that was fun to do that yeah I don't know what alrighty so then I got this little hat kind of like a little fascinator type thing it was four dollars and four cents it's got two clips on the back so we got like this little 
men's derby hat. I'm not sure quite how to put it on. We've got different kinds of lace here with polka dots. Then we got some netting right here. And then this kind of funky little bows right here. And then a pumpkin here, a jack-o'-lantern that's got some orange glitter on him. So again, it was $4.40. $4.04. I got two price reductions on this. So first I got 57 cents, then I got 50 cents off. So $1.07. So my final price on this was $2.97. Alrighty. And so I got two dresses. So trying on should go much quicker. So this one is called a floral and skull print dress. And if I can hold it up right, so it's the spaghetti straps. And the straps do have the adjustments right there, which is really good. There isn't a tag to show me the front or the back, but one side has the skulls all the way facing front. As you can see, as it gets to the bottom, the skulls are upside down. So I'm thinking that's the back. And this side, the skulls are facing upwards the whole time. So this was $2. Sorry. $12.09. It does have some kind of ruching on the side over here, so we will see how that plays. It's that nice kind of stretchy material. So looking forward to trying that. And then this last dress, they said it was a springtime dress, but you know, I looked at it and said, this, this just speaks Halloween to me. So it's orange and black. We've got, of course, I'm holding it up backwards because it's the uh, zipper right there. But it's got the netting right here over the shoulders, the black netting and the sleeves. We've got like these rivets, ribbit right there, and a square neckline. And then the print is orange and black. And at the bottom, we've got that lace trim. So to me, this is Halloween. This is going to be one of my Halloween dresses. So anyway, I'm excited to try these on see how they look and we will be right back alrighty so I'm back and of course I had to put a blue wig on just to go with the blue dress right and I got that crown on from last week so this has got those skulls on it I'm just covered with kind of chipped rhinestones and glitter it's just so sparkly I'm loving it and I put a sparkly necklace on I really need another Halloween necklace yeah the bat was a little bit like right, right up here so anyway spaghetti straps are adjustable so they're really comfortable where it is I love the way this dress feels on it's nice and stretchy it's comfortable and I think it comes in two other colors I think it comes with purple maybe red so I may have to get another one so anyway I'm not exactly happy with the way they have the center seam in the middle but but it's, you know, it's just to wear for a costume. It's got that ruching on both sides, so it kind of gives you the illusion of a waistline. Again, sorry for the straps right here, but this they are adjustable, so if you wanted to have it up higher or a little bit lower, you can. And yeah, so it goes right to the floor, and it's just really, really nice and comfortable. And for the price, you really can't go wrong on this. So anyway, we've got that orange dress to go, so we will be right back. Alrighty, so I have got the last dress on. It's got the square neckline. We've got the rivets here. I don't have it zipped all the way up in the back. It's kind of hard to do by yourself. So anyway, it's got the netting for the sleeves. A little bit of detail right there. How it's folded over. And yeah. So it goes probably right above my natural waist, which is good for me. And again, the bottom of it has that. If I can get this up. Has that black lace right there so anyway the underside of the dress is just white but anyway it's a fun dress it's not real stretchy but it's just a fun dress to wear I'm not exactly sure how to put this fascinator in so I just put it in right there but anyway that is it for my Timu Halloween haul number two so anyway let me know what you guys think if uh, you are going to be getting any new goodies for halloween maybe updating your stash i still have to go downstairs and figure out what i want to get to bring back upstairs so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me i appreciate you guys so much so thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart and i hope to see you guys in my next video Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.